啦啦。And now to Duckworth upon Bilge, where recent financial struggles have hit public services particularly hard. So if you're planning to get sick or undergo any operations, I suggest you do that somewhere else. It'll take a resourceful mind and a confident hand to sort out this mess. Any volunteers? Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Two Point County, where we are going to be starting Duckworth. Upon bills, yes, indeed we are. Um, assist the Two Point Health Service with a public hospital. This is this is the hospital that is very different from all the others, and my favourite in the entire game. So I'm very much looking forward to this. But before we do, look, we have completed some career goals. Promote 500 staff. Have we really done that? 250 kudosh. Uh, promote 100 janitors. 200 kudosh. Uh, train um, a staff member in diagnostic five, 200 kudosh. And also look, psychiatry level five. We did that also. Wow. Oh, look at this. Complete 20 research projects. Done. Uh, train 50 assistants. Oh my goodness. Upgrade 100 machines. Well, We've been doing really well. Look at all that kudosh we've got. We might be able to buy some uniforms with that, maybe. Some uniforms. Mm, maybe. Um, yeah, so uh, let's jump in to Duckworth. We're going to be playing this one quite differently from how we've been playing the others. And here we are, Duckworth upon Bilge. Health Minister Tarquin Foxbridge has requested our assistance. The county's public health system, the Two Point uh, Health Service, I think that's probably what it is called, isn't it? Two Point Health Service? Two Point Hospital Service. Probably Health Service. Uh, is struggling to cope. Duckworth Hospital, one of the few remaining public hospitals, has lost its administrator. Lord Foxbridge has uh, proposed that we help run this public hospital. Uh, could be good for us. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Uh, if we can meet the ministry's targets, we'll receive some of the county's healthcare budget. But we won't receive income for any diagnosis, treatment, or retail. This could be interesting. Indeed. Indeed, it could be. We're going to pause it, is the first thing we're going to do. Um, and we will be three starring Duckworth. We will be doing it as well without throwing money at staff right at the end because I want to return to Duckworth. So um, I don't want to destroy the hospital trying to get that third star. I'm also playing this, recording this, uh, while the uh, spooky mode is currently available as uh, it is October at time of recording. So uh, you may notice some little differences. Um, right, look, we've got some mail here. Oh, look, so we have misery guts which is a um, pharmacy illness. We have mucky feet, which is a ward illness, and also monobrow, which is a, a ward illness. So that's good to know. And we actually start, look, with a little bit of a hospital up and running. Um, so we've got our plots around here. Um, we might ignore these plots. They're a little bit far away. It might be that we come sort of around here um, so that, you know, because the, the helipad is here. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, there's actually lots of changes we're going to need to make to this hospital straight off the bat. So we're actually going to be on pause for a little while here to get things sorted. Um, yeah, that's just the way that it's going to have to be. Um, starting with the fact we need to note that this is a cold hospital. Uh, so we are going to need heating. That's going to really pump up the energy bill. But there we are. We've got to do it. I also won't be having vending machines um, in my corridors, which means I don't really need binnies either. Um, so that's worth noting. I'm going to keep uh, these bennies. But in this room, we need to sort this room out. It's no good, this room. First of all, it's really big. So we are going to edit every little bit of this hostel. We do not want plants. Definitely not. We're going to get rid of the plants. Um, uh, let's do this. We're going to move that window. Okay. Excellent. Let's have a rearrange in here. So I'm going to pop this over here and 
pop this next to it, actually. That's a bit of a... We do not need this binny. Get the money on that. We're going to need every penny that we can scrimp. <laughs> okay. So we're going to pop that there. This is going to be uh, actually quite an expensive startup, but it will be worth it, I promise you. Uh, right. We need... Um, a radiator we might try the large um, actually no not yet what have we got over here what what do you want to sell um, do you know what we'll keep that we'll keep that oh and we'll keep the clock as well there we go right so what's that heating like is it no it's nice it's nice okay that's good now as you know we do like um to deal with staff needs and this isn't going to be any different um just because it's we're not getting any money for anything coming in that's that's no different we're going to be doing this the same um i'm not quite sure where to put this for the moment uh we are still going to spend the money to invest in these cabinets because of their diagnostic and treatment power they're important to have i want them so even though they are a thousand each we're going to put them in right we're, this is going to be expensive this overhaul of the entire hospital um but important so nurses needs then we are going to need a sweet dispenser we might actually move this um to here or shall we well i don't know because I, I might move this to here, right? Um, get this picture out of the way. Don't want to get rid of that. Because um, morale, staff morale is really big and important on this level. Which means that um, all these rooms will probably become level 5. Uh, which we haven't really done in this series. But it, it's sort of important <laughs> for Duckworth. So I can see us doing it here. I'm going to pop that there. We are going to put in a certificate just behind there we go so it's attractive where they sit let's get our water fountain should they get thirsty so there we are we now have um all the important things in this room um just to get us started all the important things we'll stick a benny outside and as per usual now i know it's a cold level and we've got green bennies shall i swap them out for the uh for purple because we get a hundred back don't we when we sell them so we could uh oh it won't move it's there we go yeah let's do that okay lovely now we're going to do the same again here um we are going to pull this away um not gonna let us get rid of this binny okay and pull this out we're gonna pull that out do you know we might keep this bookcase to be honest um now let's do our usual um and actually he's got a window behind him in this location so we'll put the radiator there um Excellent. Uh, we might move this certificate. Now, where's the coffee maker? There it is. Let's get our coffee maker in. Now, the GPs in this level will get swamped because um, we uh, won't really be taking on much in this hospital um, and unless Tarquin will pay us to do it, basically. Uh, we'll be saying no to much more than normal. Is that gonna? Is that gonna? It's not, is it? It's just gonna infuriate me. <laughs> okay, we'll do this, and we can put the hand sanitizer. Maybe. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Okay. <sighs> maybe like this. Oh yeah, there we go. We found it, everybody. We found it. Um, sure. Okay, we'll keep that. Now, we definitely want, again, we're going to spend the money on these cabinets to get them in. We're going to do that, because we do want a good reputation at the end of the day, you know. If we can deal with people, then we should, right? Um, we might stick a clock. It's not entirely necessary, obviously. 
Do you know what? Maybe we won't. <laughs> Maybe we won't because it's not entirely necessary. And I didn't realise the clock costs a hundred. A hundred. Um, so they've got all the bits and bobs that we need straight away, I think, in this office. Temperature's good as well. All the things that they need are there. Do you know, that is actually going to annoy me. We're just going to move. Oh, I won't. Okay, whatever. Um, we'll look at staff um, in a moment. We will look at staff in just one moment. So let's see here. Let's get um, a couple of bennies here. We sold a couple, so we'll get them back. There we go. Right. <clears throat> Excellent. Uh, we'll keep the telephone. Indeed we will. Do you know, I might keep this room the, the shape and size that it is, but I would like, if we can, to reduce the windows. Um, so, we don't want the binny, we don't want the plant. Definitely not. See if, if we could move the door up like that, maybe we could do that. I don't know. What do we think? Or do we prefer it central? <laughs> maybe we'll... Maybe we'll just do that. Maybe we'll do that and pull this window out. Something like that. Oh, that's really good that we've got one of those. Let's move our heart racer into the corner here. Now, normally I would put this a bit closer to the heart racer, but unfortunately, we don't really have the space because um, of these external windows that seem to be about. We'll keep this, pop that over there, lovely. Okay, now I would like, again, some medicine cabinets in here just to help boost that diagnostic process. We are going to want a radiator, but I don't think, no, it won't go there. So we're gonna have to pop this, oh look, it's gonna be on one side of that window. That's aggravating, isn't it? That really is aggravating. <laughs> oh well, there it is. Now can we get, we can, we can get that in there. That's nice, lovely. Um, I don't know if we'd be able to get anything else there though. We will pop this sweet dispenser here. And uh, we're going to need a chair for the nurse to idle on just to help again because this is this level is all about their their needs right keeping their morale high it's huge in Duckworth so we're going to do all the usual bits that we do in our normal hospitals but then we're going to uh, be taking it to extremes um, okay so we've got these pictures, we might as well keep them. Um, no real need to get rid of them. We don't have a hand sanitizer yet, do we? Will it fit here? It will, look at that. There we go, so that will attend to their needs. Um, we don't have a fire extinguisher in here, problematic. So maybe we should just pop one of those in. There we go, so I think its overhaul is good. We might move this telephone um, to here. Um, and what we'll do is pop a couple of bennies here. That's, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie, it is mildly annoying. We wanna keep this hand sanitizer, but yeah. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, um, <laughs> of this setup. But there we are. Um, it will function. It will do. Let's pop in these here. Okay. Lovely. So that's that room. Now, we have here our pharmacy. We're going to get rid of this plant. Um, we can make this room a little bit smaller, actually. Save on space, because we're going to want to put off buying another building, obviously, for as long as humanly possible. Uh, so pop that there. Uh, let's take all these windows out, get rid of this binny. We're going to want to reduce the workload for our janitors as much as possible. That's the thing. Um, and do you know what? We will actually put a window here. Um, Okay, now we're going to need 
a radiator in here. There it is. Excellent. We've got ourselves a notice board, which is a bit different. Um, I don't know where to put it. I think I'd like it outside. We'll come back to that. Um, right. We've got a clock kicking about. Shall we pull this clock over to here? Will a drinking fountain go under there? It might do. No. No. Um, okay. What if we put the drinking fountain there? Something like this, maybe. But now the drinking fountain might go there. Yeah, it does. Okay, maybe something like this. What's the nearest we can get it to that? No, okay. Right, there we go. Lovely. Now we are going to need, again, we're going to spend money on these medicine cabinets. Very expensive, but we are going to do it. Um, can I put them over here maybe? Not sure. Can maybe I'll put in one of these just to separate this up a little bit. And again, we don't have a fire extinguisher, so I'm wondering if we can just squeeze that in there like that. Lovely. Okay. Because I like to put the chairs by the radiator um, so that it's nice and warm where they're sitting. So it's nice and warm and attractive okay so what are we missing we're missing a sweet dispenser which you know what we'll just pop right next to them for now this room will get overhauled to level five at some point so we'll do that okay so i think that's we've sorted out the heating and all the bits that the room needs so we'll pull this out and we'll pull this out Oh, we'll put in one of our beautiful purple bennies here. Okay. Okay. Very important. So that's that part of the hospital. Now, these toilets are very far away. I think what we might do is move them over to here. And do our usual shape. Right, our usual our usual shape uh, first of all we don't want this yucca plant we don't want this binny um, so this has uh, four toilets let's move the toilets I'm gonna sell that one move this round let's move this sink move this round there we go and then we've got one sink it's important to keep hygiene level here because there's going to be a lot of people bimbling about in this hospital not getting dealt with because there's no inclination or, or motivation to do so right you know why would we build new departments when they're not you know they're just going to drain uh, the financial funds Do you know what we'll just use a cheap one for now they're just going to drain um, the coffers of this hospital so you don't want to do it uh, so we're going to pop that in and every radiator that we add adds to our monthly energy bill uh, I, I can't not put in the personal best clock though so, <laughs> so we will be putting that in um, and I feel as though we should also be putting in our creme de la creme <laughs> right a dog painting so let's pop that in there it is excellent Right, so we've got our toilet sorted. It's going okay. Um, like I say, it's going to be a bit of a... It is an episode on pause, um, but there's a lot of important stuff to do before we get started on this level. This has to be done if we want future success. Now, we may keep a plant in the ward. We'll see. Um, we're probably going to pull one of these out. I'm not sure we're going to need it on such a small ward um let's see here do we want to change the shape of the ward probably not actually this wall's quite nice isn't it it's quite a nice ward um kind of like it we could probably push there these beds up against these walls maybe 
um, just spread them out a little bit. Wow, that is a nice painting. We might move that into the staff room. Um, okay. Do you know what we might even move a bed up here and put that there maybe do you know what we will I think have the other one here and we might put a little setup for the staff between them that might be quite nice in that little nook over there uh, which means I'm kind of keen I suppose to not lose a bed um, let's see so let's see if we can pop one of those in pull this up and then maybe something like this I don't know it's a bit upsetting isn't it it's that window I don't really want to put a bed under a window do you know what I mean I don't really want to do it but at the same time I'm not sure I have much choice in the matter you know I don't think I do I probably won't be messing with this ward all that much in the future so getting it right now is important to me um, oh look we've got another one it's not going to fit anywhere don't really want to put it to waste though wow maybe we will get rid of this to know because we've got radiators to get in for a start this ward is cold and now I've covered up maybe we will lose a bed if it gets busy then because that is a really good placement look at that really good placement okay what if can we get a bed it's a bit pokey isn't it is a bit pokey I might try it though I mean it works it functions so I might do it okay now I do like we are going to put in uh, these pictures as usual keep that attractiveness going and they're not too expensive these uh, these paintings are not too expensive um, I would like to get the medicine cabinets in but it's possibly proving tricky um, let's um, put in noticeable for attractiveness here and the clock okay uh, now in the t in terms of needs a drinking fountain and hand sanitizer excellent um, we've got a little cheeky picture here which I'm not quite sure what to do with because it won't go behind here will it oh it will excellent stick it there um, how could it's it's done pretty well to warm up this whole area hasn't it it's done, it's done a pretty fine job um, maybe maybe we will stick this stuff here that's not what I originally planned to put here but I do you know I think I might um, we'll put the switch, will that go will that fit no damn it will these not move up a little bit they won't okay that's going to annoy me fine I think we will just have to stick them randomly over here it feels random to me I don't know you might like it maybe I don't know should we put in our actually do we already have one no they're expensive leafy plants right okay let's we might put this in as well okay not too bad not too bad now we do need the chair um, I think we'll have the chair maybe 
could make it look like a guest chair you know now I do want this place to be attractive you can see it gets gets a little bit unattractive over here um, we might not worry about it too much now but there's definitely room for improvement in the ward um, but it's it's a good starter I would say excellent now we also have the staff room over here and I'm interested in building a research department and a training room quite quickly and I'd like to try and get them over here if I can um, so you know what we might do is actually build training right now um, something like this we won't muck about with it okay uh, that's annoying about that projector maybe we'll put it maybe we'll put it here because uh, we are going to want to get these bookcases in they're expensive uh, very very expensive so it could be that we add these over time um, but we'll put four in for now I think that will suffice um, a couple of desks as usual okay now bit nippy in here so radiator now uh, I would like that we've got our spooky mode <laughs> spooky mode scans in um, and also the spooky mode anatomy model we would like to get in the posters that are good for training um, we're also going to put this whiteboard in for a bit of prestige and whatnot. Now there's another picture as well that's good for in here. Here it is, that plus training speed. So I'll pop that in there as well. There we go. So there's our training room. Um, so we are now going to edit the staff room to start fitting over here. Bearing in mind that I'm going to want to put research in here. Um, so I think research will go there. Now, keep all this stuff. Now this staff rooms is the only place where I'm going to have vending machines. Um, pull that in as well. Okay, uh, so we could probably put a window here. That might be nice. Okay, um, I'd like to try and keep the nice things that they have in here, to be honest. That might be nice. Um, so we have a cheesy gubbins machine, which is fantastic. Uh, let's move these bean bags. We like the bean bags. We want to keep those. Let's uh, stick all this over here. Move that out of the way a minute if we can. Okay. And I pop that. See, it never goes quite straight, does it? It's very rare that we actually get that as we want it. It's really aggravating. Uh, actually, how close can we get this? Okay. So I've bought a coffee table. And we're going to just try and move this as close as we can. There it is. Okay. And then we would like... Let's move this lamp a moment. We're going to move this chair in here stick this lamp here okay all right it's good it's good it is good um, I am thinking actually about keeping the reading nook over here do you like my reading nooks got this dartboard in the way again there's too much stuff in here suppose I'm pretty sure it does sell and buy back for the same amount of money doesn't it let's see if we can move this painting to here uh, I'm not going to have a coffee machine in here actually move the cheesy gubbins um, actually we might replace the cheesy gubbins put in the dartboard we want our reading nook over here here we go There we go, a little reading nook. 
Um, so what we might actually do is sell the cheesy gubbins as much as I love them and put in the moose juice and the jumbo nuts because these two increase happiness as well as reduce their thirst and hunger. Okay, uh, so an increasing happiness is important <laughs> right now. Um, I've got one of these. Let's move this over to here. Now what we don't have is a radiator um, in here, which we definitely need. It's not going to go there, is it? Will it? Maybe it go there. There we go. And another thing that we don't have is a hand sanitizer, which they do use in the staff room from time to time. And we definitely need a binny. This is one of the first places we're going to need a binny. And this is the thing about the vending machines. So the vending machines create a lot of work. We're not going to be earning money from them anyway, but they need restocking and then they create litter to be swept up. They make bins need to be emptied. They create a lot of work for your janitors. So I don't like having them in this level all that much. Now we need some because of course we get the public targets to refill them, but we don't need loads. So what we do instead uh, for these guys is they will get sweet dispensers um, for their hunger need because these don't need restocking and they don't need, uh, they don't create rubbish on the floor. They don't need bins uh, for all the rubbish that comes out of them. Uh, they might be a bit close together. I don't actually know if the animations will <laughs> work that close together, will they? Uh, that'll be interesting to see. And then we also have water fountains uh, for their thirst, uh, which again creates no rubbish. Doesn't require any maintenance by our um, janitors. All that sort of stuff, right? All that jazz. Um, so it is fantastic for that sort of stuff. Um, but they do reduce, uh, they do reduce your hygiene. They're not very hygienic. So I like to put hand sanitizer with them uh, because your patients will use hand sanitizers in the corridors. They will do that definitely. Now we need to create a bit of entertainment over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these. I think. These are quite expensive. So we've got some magazine racks. There we go. Lovely. These are quite expensive also. We're going to pop in, uh, pop one of those there. One of those there, like that. Oh, it's a bit far away. So I've got a little bit of entertainment. It's probably not enough. Um, but you know, baby steps, baby steps. It's cold out here, let's not forget. Uh, now, we are probably going to have a plant somewhere around here for a bit of attractiveness. Nothing crazy, just something to get us started. Now, i pop one of these here and here. Excellent, excellent. Now, we don't have at the moment a Benny outside here, so we will do that. Where do we want... Where do we want the Benny? Maybe just here, like this. Put, should we put two of them? Just like this. And then if we get um, another large radiator over here. Um, I'm not sure, it's getting a bit warm, isn't it? Maybe if we put that one there. But that one's not really needed, is it? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, now we don't have any food or anything over here. So again, let's get our water fan. Let's see if we can squeeze them all in together. Um, we shouldn't have too many people over here. So there they are. That should be okay. Um, and we'll pop this in front of them for a little bit of entertainment. Maybe even this plant, because again, we get public targets that require us to water these plants. Um, I'm not sure if I want leafy ones though. We might downgrade them. Um, is this, this might not be big enough actually for our... Uh, research department. And actually I'm not gonna want the plant. Let's put the plant over there. Right, 
Okay, so another expensive room to go in. Now, the reason we want research course is because, um, uh, reasons. <laughs> the research department can generate money for us. So, um, let's just do that in a minute. It's really expensive. Uh, but I don't like the nook that it's created here, if I'm honest. So, maybe we could edit this a little bit like this. Um, and actually, maybe the bennies could then go down this way? That might be alright. What do we think? That might be alright. Make the area face this way. Move this to there. Excellent. Um, no, on the outside here. Lovely. So we've got a little bit of entertainment here, but what we might be able to do is put in a, a low maintenance plant somewhere around here. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit rando, isn't it? It's getting a bit pokey in this corner also. Now, I've created something a little bit bizarre in this, uh, in this room. I've created a very weird space. Now, we don't want to spend loads of money in this room. That much we do know. Um, because, I mean, that... I mean, how much is that? That So, that there is 20 grand. This here is 10,000. Um, which I'm not entirely sure where I'm... Right, you can go there. Fine. Uh, now, I'm inclined to buy... Yeah, a supercomputer to go with it. Generates a little bit of heat. More expensive to run than a large radiator though. So, you know, <laughs> by the by. Um, what else? What else could we put in here? I don't know. It's pretty good. Uh, let's pop in our chair. Um, put something a bit prestigious in there so it's fairly attractive. Uh, do you know what? We don't actually have a window, do we? Um, and actually, I might pop. Should we put it? Pop it there. Maybe, maybe we'll pop the window. A couple of windows there, like that. That might be all right. I was just thinking a window here for a radiator might be nice, but no, not happening. Maybe we'll just stick it over in this corner. Or should we stick it down here? Maybe we'll stick it down there. Um, and then we could do with a coffee maker. Where is it? Okay, we're in the wrong. Here we go. Coffee maker. Excellent. Um, maybe like this. With a sweet dispenser. Should they get a bit peckish? No. Um, hand sanitizer we've not popped in have we maybe that could go there okay there's our research department this is a little bit pokey I think what we might do is just move this here all right okay and you know what I think we are going to break these up because I don't I do think they're just a little bit close we might do something a bit like this so they're still close but not quite as pokey. Excellent. Right. We have our uh, reception desk. Now, how warm are they at reception at the moment? Uh, how warm are they going to be? They should be fairly okay. We've got this we could put to good use for some entertainment. We might stick that there. All right. Okay. I think um, that is the makeover of the hospital done, ready for us to start playing. And in the next episode, we'll check over our staff and actually start the hospital. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time, peeps. Oh,